In the beginning of the film, we are shown in the desert city of Baghdad, where the team of army agents had come on a mission with their leader, Lu Feng. Lu comes and meets the leader of the oil factory there, who used to work here to control the factory. In fact, the people of the oil company's factory were in great trouble. They were being attacked every day, and this was the reason why Lu's team came to save them. The factory's leader tells Lu that he has to save 400 people here, and we will have to save them from here and reach the green zone. After this, we are shown a man named Chris in the village, after which his brother had come. He says, brother, I have brought a mission for you. After completing it, we can get a lot of money. We have to kidnap some people on a bus. When Chris listens to his brother, he refuses him because Chris never did anything wrong. After this, we see a man named Owen in Chris's village who used to do the job of extracting water from the ground. There was a shortage of water in Chris's village too. Chris loved his villagers very much, so he called Owen to extract water. Owen now tries to extract water from a well, but is unable to do it. At that time, it was very hot, and the people of Chris's village were also very poor. Here, Owen tells Chris that if some money is arranged, we can easily extract water from here. Hearing this, Chris tells Owen, okay, I will bring the money. There, in the factory, Lou was planning with his team that we had to save the people of the factory and take them from the highway of death. Only then can we reach the green zone. This is a shortcut, but it is also very dangerous. After this, the leader of the factory locks the whole system here, saves it on a pen drive, and keeps it in his bag. So that everything is safe in that drive and no one is in danger. Then he gives his bag to one of his assistants. Actually, the assistant to the factory leader is Lou's daughter. She had a fight with her dad, Lou. Because when her mom died, Lou was not with her. Because of this, Lou's daughter was angry with her dad and hated him. After which, everyone is taken to the green zone by bus. Soon they reach the highway of death. Seeing the scene there, Lou's daughter was scared because no one had gone alive from there until today. There were cars everywhere that were in very bad condition due to the accident. Leo tells his team to keep an eye on all four sides. And then he takes his bus and moves on. But there were two cars on the way because of which the road was blocked. Seeing this, Lou's daughter says that we should stop the bus here. But Lou was not ready to do this. He says, I know why these cars are standing, and we cannot stop the bus here at any cost. We have to get out of here at any cost. Just when he took that bus to the cars, there was a big bang. Because of this, everyone sitting in the bus is very scared. Lou still did not stop his bus. He keeps walking. In fact, all these buses were made of a special kind of material. That is why the bullets and bombs had no effect on them. Lou tells his daughter that we had to get lost in the middle of these cars. Now when they go ahead, Lou sees that a very big sandstorm is moving towards them. But he does not even get scared of that storm and keeps moving forward with the bus. Then Chris's team takes advantage of the sandstorm and hijacks a bus. That is, they had taken that bus into their custody. As we know, Chris needed money, which is why he was doing this. He had agreed with his brother. After going towards the storm, they all stop their buses. Then Lou finds out that one of their buses is missing, along with the leader of the oil factory. Then the girl from his team tells him that I saw him going the other way. Lou now calls for a helicopter here so that the bus can be found quickly. In this work, Lou's daughter also tells him to go with her. Lou had left to find that bus with his daughter in the helicopter. After going a little far, Lou sees a truck from the helicopter. Now he understands that there was no sandstorm. In fact, the enemies had made a fake storm with the help of this truck. So that they can hijack our bus. After a while, Lou sees his bus. After contacting Lou, Lou's team girl tells him that the Americans have kidnapped our five people from that bus, including the leader of the oil factory, after which Lou contacts his team again and tells the rest of the buses to reach the green zone. On the other hand, when Crispy was moving forward in the car with his teammates, Lou dropped a bomb on them from his helicopter. Crispy was attacking the helicopter by taking a gun out of his car, which made the helicopter a little far from him. There was a fire in it. Chris had just brought his brother to the ruins where he brought him and asked him whose mission is this? Tell me the truth. 
In an area where there is so much danger, bombs are being dropped on us by helicopter. Then Owen comes there, who was Chris's friend. He says that this mission and the whole plan were mine. He had also kidnapped the leader of the oil factory. The purpose of this was to hack all the systems of the oil company that is to bring it under his control, from which he was going to get a lot of money. The leader of the oil factory also understood that it was Owen who was attacking their factory. So when we changed places and started going towards the green zone, he kidnapped us on the way. Chris tells Owen here, how can you make such a big plan? And I'm not going to support you in this plan anymore. Give me my money so that I can go from here. Owen says that some more work is left now, after which you will get your money. Chris's brother also says that some work is left now. But Chris says without caring for anyone, that I want my money in the next two hours. Saying this, he left from there. After Chris's departure, his brother tells Owen that we will have to work without him now. But Owen betrays him here. He had killed Chris's brother. And then he says to go from here. There, Chris also reached his village. He was very angry with his brother. Because he did not tell him the right thing. After that, he went out to play with the children to calm himself down. Then Lou comes there and says that I've come here to save my people. I know you have kidnapped them. My people are with you. Chris also replies that I am also saving my villagers. As we know, Chris did this work for the sake of money and only for his villagers so that he can arrange water for them. And all this was Owen's plan so that Chris could also support him. But Owen betrayed him. Anyway, after this, Lou goes from there. After a while, Chris came to an empty factory where he saw his brother's body. Sometimes Lou also came there. There's a lot of fighting between the two of them. Sometimes Chris was hitting Lou, sometimes Lou. Chris was feeling that Lou must have killed his brother. But when something was about to fall on Chris's brother, Lou saved him. Here he finds out that Lou did not kill his brother, but Owen's hand is in it. That's when bullets start raining on them. Actually, Owen had sent his goons to kill them here too, but they fight those bullets. Chris dropped a bomb on them which caused a big blast. Anyway, the goons ran away from there. But in this, Chris's car also gets destroyed. They both understood that they had to catch only one person. And that is Owen, who was the enemy of both of them. Chris says that I know where Owen will be right now. On the other side, the leader of the Owen factory and some of his people were brought to the factory with him. Here he tries to open the system, but there is a code on it. When Owen asks the factory leader about the code, he does not tell him. That's when he kills his two people. Seeing this, the factory leader was scared. Now he threatens to kill his son. Hearing this, the factory leader immediately tells him that this code is on a pen drive, which I had kept in my bag, but I don't know where it is. All I remember is that I gave that bag to my assistant. That's when the son of the factory leader here tells him to call his mom's phone, which will tell you about the location of his phone. Where are the phone and bag? Actually, that bag was with Lou's daughter, who was in Chris's village at the time. In the same village, Lou gets the news that he has reached the green zone with the rest of the people. Here, his daughter asks him, how can you trust Chris? Lou says that he is a good man who thinks for the good of others. We can trust him. That's when Chris gets Lou's diary, which he picked up and brought to him. He says, do you like this girl? You are so lucky to have found such a girl. You always keep her picture in your diary. Lou says here that you are thinking wrong. Actually, she is my daughter. Chris apologizes to him for this. Lou says that when my wife died, I was not with my daughter, because of which she is still angry with me. He says that I came on this mission also so that I could save my daughter, who works here in the oil factory. Chris says don't worry, everything will be fine, we will save everyone, we will fight together. That's when he hears the voices of some goons. They go and fight those goons. Here they come to know that Owen has sent them here. Who has come here to take the bag from the factory leader? Which was with Lou's daughter. They had a lot of weapons. They'd captured all the villagers, and now they also ask for the bag of the factory leader, which had a pen drive, which had a system code lock. Chris gives them that bag. After taking it, they left from there. After doing this, 
Lou and his daughter were very angry with him. Then Chris says that I could not put the lives of the entire village in such danger. In the morning, Chris asks Lou's daughter, what was in that bag, which you were not ready to give? She says that there was a pen drive in that bag, with which all the systems of the oil factory can be hacked. And the oil of the entire city of Baghdad can be transferred anywhere, that is, it can be sent. This system also involves oil smuggling, after which they can sell oil to any country or city. And if this happens, it will be the biggest theft of oil till now. On the other hand, we see the ship from Germany, whose captain was talking to Owen on the phone. Chris and Lou had also left the village, but Lou's daughter felt that they would not be able to stop everything together. That's why she also takes the car and goes behind them. The goons had also reached Owen with the bag. He tells the factory leader to open the lock on the pen drive by giving him the bag. As soon as she put the pen drive in the system, the whole system was on. That is, it starts running. Owen tells me to fill up the oil in that German ship, but it took 24 hours to do this. After some time, Chris and Lou also reached Owen's factory on their truck. They were competing with his goons. Lou climbs on a pipe and kills Owen's men in a very cool way. Owen was also watching all this secretly. He tells his men that we have to get out of here soon. Because his work is done now. Oil had been filled on the German ship. Chris also goes inside the factory. He came and started killing the goons, then his eyes go out. He sees that Owen is running away from here. Now he follows him while running, then he meets Lou's daughter on the way, who took the car and reached them. Now they both follow Owen. Here Lou is competing with Owen's goons in the factory. He teases everyone one by one. Now the leader of the oil factory comes there. Who says that everything is ruined? He stole the oil from the band drive. We have to stop such a big loss. On the way, when Chris was following Owen, he jumped out of his car. Behind him, Lou's daughter also flies the car in the air and makes it jump, but his car had an accident. Chris gets angry at Lou's daughter for the condition of the car. Then Lou also reached there with a the truck. Then they both sat in the truck and went ahead with him. Chris tells Lou the shortcut to reach Owen. Then they leave the rocket launcher on that truck. Actually, it was the same truck with which the fake storm was made to hijack the bus. Chris now reaches Owen. He brings his truck very fast and hits it in his truck. Due to which there are powerful explosions. Owen's car fell far away. Owen was very injured. When he sees Chris, he takes his car and runs away. Lou had called Chris back in his truck. Chris was now hanging from the truck. They come close to Owen's car at the speed of a rocket launcher. Due to which their truck was also under control. They tie a rope to Owen's car and drop their truck in the trench. And he himself was hanging on that rope. Seeing this, Owen was laughing at them. But due to the weight of the car, Owen's car also falls into the trench. Lou had left that rope. He falls on a stone with his daughter. And Owen fell into the trench with his car and died. Here, Lou and his daughter were saved. They both see that they can't see Chris anywhere. They think that Chris is dead. Then Lou's daughter's eyes fell on his diary. When she saw it, it had a picture of her and her mom. Lou says that I love you and your mom very much. I never wanted to separate you. Hearing this, Lou's daughter hugged him. Then Chris grabs Lou's leg from below, who was still alive. They both pulled him up. All three were saved. But now they think about how to get out of here. Then an idea came to Lou's mind. He says that we should make a lot of noise here so that someone can help them. It is shown after a while. They had also caught that German ship, which Owen had sold oil. Water also starts coming to Chris's village. This work was done by Chris and Lou together. All the villagers were very happy. Then Lou's team comes to him and asks about the next mission. Then Chris also promises him that he will support him in every mission. And with this, the story of this movie ends here. Thanks for watching.